What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. I'm on my way to the flea market right now. Um, I'm hoping there's people there because it's 39 degrees outside. So yeah, hopefully there's somebody there. But we're about to go find out. If you guys do enjoy the videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Subscribe down below if you guys want to see more and you do enjoy the video. And drop a comment. I try to respond to all the comments that I can. So let's go see what we can find this week. So I'm walking around the flea market. As you can see, there's nobody here. Uh, I did pick up those Baron Nines, but that's like the only thing I found. So this might be one of the shortest flea market videos in a while <laughs> because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I might not even come tomorrow either, but we'll see. What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. So this week's video is might be short, honestly. I did end up going this morning, but as you guys saw, it was pretty cold. There wasn't really that many people there. I only picked up two things today. Um, and towards the end of the time I was there, it started raining, so I just went ahead and left. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be raining, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to go tomorrow. So this might end up being a really short video this weekend, but I still wanted to show you guys what I did get. So let me go ahead and show you the two things that I got today. So the first thing for $2, I picked up this Vineyard Vine shirt. Uh, it's nothing special, nothing crazy, really simple. You got the little navy whale right there on the chest. This one is a size XXL. And every single time I pick up a shirt from this brand, I always get the people in the comments telling me I'm pronouncing it wrong. No matter if I say Vineyard or Vineyard. No matter how I say it, Vineyard or Vineyard, there's always that one person that says I'm saying it wrong. So I'm just gonna say Vineyard. Uh, but yeah, it's nothing crazy, just your uh, essential blue polo shirt. And I picked this up for two bucks. And then for 25 bucks, I picked up a pair of shoes. The box says it's the Air Jordan 3 size 12, but that is not what they are, it's just a replacement box. So you guys already saw what they are. It is the Baron Jordan 9s right here. Went ahead and scooped these up for $25. They're still in really good shape. They just have some yellowing down here on the midsole, if you guys can even see that. But overall, they're still pretty clean. From what I'm seeing, I don't see any cracking on the midsole. There is a little, like, creasing from, you know, being worn, like, right there. The right shoe has a little tiny scuff right there on the toe. But the main issue just being the yellowing on the sole, like I said. These are a size 12, and these came out in 2013. So most likely I'm going to be throwing these up on my website. If any of you guys are interested in them, you can click on the link in the description. Unless one of my size 12 friends want them, then most likely they'll go to them first. I've always really liked the interior on these, how it has that pinstripe. Of on these and the ones and you can't go wrong with a black gray and white shoe I mean you can pretty much wear these with anything and then you got the 45 on the back instead of the 23 Oh, so yeah, there you go Baron nines for 25 bucks. So this past week um, Has been pretty nine heavy as you guys saw I did get these and then I got these last weekend at the flea market And I know this is not everybody's favorite model, but um, this is one of the better colorways in my opinion So that's what I picked up today uh, this might be the end of this week's flea market grab video. I hope it's not. I hope that the weather is okay enough where I can go tomorrow. But if not, you guys will be seeing my outro <laughs> instead of another part. But if this is the end, please hit that like button. It lets me know. Uh, subscribe down below if you did enjoy it, even though it was pretty short this week. And drop a comment. I try to respond to all the comments I can. And if this video does not continue after this, I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later. How much are the shoes? Uh, 12. Twelve. 
All right, what's up guys? I'm back with the second part of the video. So today is Tuesday. I went to the flea market today. I picked up two pairs of shoes. So I'm just gonna combine it with the video from Saturday. Um, I wasn't able to go Sunday because it was raining really hard, which I kind of already knew it was gonna be. So I decided to wait until today, Tuesday, um, until I went to another flea market that's open on Tuesdays. So I decided just to wait until today, Tuesday, to see if I found anything. So that way I could just combine today's footage with Saturdays. So that way the video wasn't like super short. Um, but I did pick up two pairs of shoes today, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So the first pair I picked up is this pair of Air Max 90s right here in the Sunset colorway from 2014. So I ended up picking these up for 20 bucks, which might be a little pricey for this shoe. Um, but the prices are all over the place. Like I've seen pre-owned pair sell for like 100, but then I've seen pre-owned pair sell for like 30, so I really don't know. But these are a size nine, as you guys can see. Really cool colorway. I really like the um, fading on here, how it goes from purple to pink, and then to that orange. And then you got that purple midsole and the white. There you got that Nike Air on the back. You got Air Max in yellow. And then you got like the black leather with the uh, like crocodile skin looking Nike swoosh. Nike Air Max in orange right there on the tongue. And then you got clear icy bottom uh, with the purple to pink gradient on the bottom. And here is the other one. Uh, like I said, these are from 2014. Um, them being from 2014, they're actually still in pretty good shape. Really the only flaw on these is on the right shoe. If you look really close, you can see that there is some like paint fading. Um, and then right there on the corner. I would be kind of tempted to keep these, but Air Max 90s run a little small. Um, and these are already a size nine, so there's probably no way I could fit these. But I thought for 20 bucks, I'd go ahead and grab them just because uh, the colorway was pretty cool. And then the second shoe that I picked up, I got these for 12 bucks, which is funny when you see the shoe. It's a pair of the Flu Game 12. So I paid $12 for a pair of 12s. The unfortunate thing with these is that they're a size 11, which sucks because these 12s, in my experience, they run a little big. So there's no way I can keep these. Unfortunately, this is a shoe that I've been wanting to get back in my collection. I did have these a while back, but I ended up getting rid of them and I've been trying to find another pair ever since then. These could use a little work, but I mean, I only paid $12 for them. They do have some creasing as you can see, but I can probably get that out. A little scuffing right here on the mud guard, which I'm gonna try to get out as well. You can see they have some uh, paint missing right here and on the toe of the left shoe you can see it has some scuffing and then the right shoe it has very little not as much as the other one and then right there too on the toe overall they're not that bad like i actually just rubbed this off the scuff as you can see i guess it was just dirt so i wish i would have been able to keep these but unfortunately i can't so i'm probably going to be throwing these up on the website as well so yeah, sucks I can't keep them. So those are the two pairs of shoes that I picked up today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button. It lets me know, it goes a long way. Drop a comment down below. I try to respond to all the comments I can. And subscribe if you are not already and you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later. Thank you.